What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are in our Washington football team franchise coming off of a an interesting win. I mean, it was a kind of a clean win. It just wasn't super successful on offense. And of course, we did get a breakout and it was successful. I mean, we're going to spoil it in a moment, but if you want to watch the last episode and see who it was or try to guess, I don't know. I, I managed to spoil it anyway, so I guess there's no point to really talk about it. But of course, going up against the Eagles, which... The Eagles are like 7-4 right now, so it's not like they're completely out of it, but unlikely to win the division, I guess, because we've had a pretty good season once again. This is what the roster looks like, of course, offense, even with Terry McLaurin going and Mr. Emmanuel Hall looks pretty good. And, of course, the tight end position better than ever. Julian Kelly, a hard guy to tackle, a hard guy to cover, hard guy to get the ball out of. Uh, out of? <laughs> hey, you put the ball where you want, buddy. Uh, definitely a, a solid offense. Looking at the defensive side of things, it's pretty easy to tell who was the guy that got a scenario and what happened with it because it's just so bright. It's like right in your face. It's like somebody peed on your PK or logo on twitch.tv slash your own PK and that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, while I'm selling off for that, if you want to leave it now, and we're not, we're not going to do that. We'll do it a little bit later. TJ Hood, did we not do his upgrades? thought we did. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment, though, because, of course, we do have the sim. We could have a breakout. I don't know who it would be, but we could. Philadelphia in Philadelphia as well. No breakout. And here is already the playoff pitch. I wouldn't say already because there'd be teams speculating. You know, there's people that speculate. I think weaker eight or nine is usually when people are like, if the playoffs ended today, it's like, well, they don't. So good thing for that. Unless you're in the lead, then it's sad. So far, the number one seeds are us. And then on the other end, the Chargers. So as you can see, a lot of this division is in there, aka all of them. Wait, is that allowed now? Oh, no. I, what do you mean? What is it allowed now? It's physically possible now is what I should have said because I forgot before there wasn't enough wildcard spots. Now there are. So the NFC East has a damn chance at this thing to completely just run it, which would be insane. That would mean there'd be like, I don't know what the percentage is, but over 60% chance for the NFC East to rep in the... Hey, Cowboys, relax! Rep in the Super Bowl, which would actually be kind of cool unless you are an NFC East fan. That's kind of one of the more bitter bitter rivalries. They're always arguing about who's who's not the worst, right? Like, we're not the worst. We're not the best. We're just not the worst. <laughs> that's, that's basically been the argument as of late. Uh, but, of course, unfortunately, no breakout. The reason why is because you guys didn't like and sub. If you liked and subbed on the video channel, whatever, this is so weird because we're live streaming, like I said. But if you if we would have done it, we would have had a breakout. That's that's literally how it works. YouTube wrote it. They they told me, hey, gotta get those subs and likes up, man. Do whatever you can. And I'm like, hey, stop making me sell out. I'm not trying to, you know? Alright, so let's get some upgrades done. Do we do the upgrades? We must have done the upgrades for Hood. Actually, no, it was only like 2k XP, never mind. As far as Steven Sims goes, I suppose release. So let's keep going deep threat because that is the one that gives you the best chance at release upgrades. And like we said, three. That's a really good upgrade. Those plus three to release upgrades are actually insane. I mean, I usually it's just straight up speed. Doesn't really matter what their release is, but I mean, in theory, the stat should work, right? <laughs> in theory, that's the way it should go. Justin Ross is an absolute manable. I guess whatever spec catches. Is there one for spec? Physical. Yeah, that's not a bad upgrade. Of course, we didn't even go up and overall the, the morale moved, which is strange. Plus two to jump. What's his jump now? 90? Kind of thought his jump would have been way higher than that. Wait, we never changed his ability. Why does he have evasive? What the hell is that? Does, does he have something for streaks? Because we streak him a lot. He just doesn't get open usually. Do they not have streak specialist? I'm trying to think of something that's fair. Honorary lineman, mid-out elite. I think it's mid-out or mid-in is what we would run. I think he runs more in. So we're going to go mid-out, mid-in, and then deep-out, I suppose. Unless there's a... Once again, is there no... like shh, like Oh, red zone threat, actually. That's the most fair. We got to check if we have any other guys that we're, we're got the wrong abilities on. Because that's really bad. <laughs> Freaking evasive for Ross. Maybe that's why it seems like he's so uh, jukey and whatnot. And then we have one more upgrade. Uh, I don't really care for man-to-man -man because Hood just... We should get just one upgrade good. We should have went with Slot. Slot's one of the best upgrades in the entire game. 
Hey, and Excel and his uh, man coverage, not bad. This is what we have our uh, our XP sliders on at the moment. I think those are pretty fair. I can't really think of a position that's dev up too fast because, you know, Hubbard's dev up okay, but Gibson didn't dev up at all. Maybe quarterback's a little bit too fast, but once again, he is playing absolutely insane, so that probably is a factor. As far as our gameplay sliders, uh, I don't know if we have the fumble thing on right. I think it's right. I mean, our fumbles are at 75 I mean, this is what we're on. Like, uh, I guess pass coverage up higher. I, I guess I still don't. I still the verdict's still out about this pass reaction time. Like, the higher means they're slower because like the higher time it takes. I don't know. And of course, our league settings are on all Madden simulation. Carson Wentz, still the quarterback in Philadelphia, could actually be the factor in the world of real. When Rome win by ten or more, ooh, that's tough because. Last week, we only won by seven, and this is a divisional matchup. These games are sometimes hit or miss. Sometimes we get destroyed. Sometimes we destroy them. I like it. I, li I feel like 13 would have been a little tougher because I, th I think if we're going to win this, we will win by 10 or more. Uh, and did the tops not match the bottoms? That's the thing that makes me want to cry. In the hunt, the Giants. Hey, we just looked at it. It said the Giants are not in the hunt. Oh, are they not adjusted? I didn't even notice that until just now. EA literally doesn't have it corrected. <laughs> it doesn't even have the seventh team on there. Kicking the ball deep to... Well, I mean, honestly, if we're going to be, like, totally transparent here, this looks like the color scheme that you would see in a daycare drawing from, like, a five-year-old. Four-year-old? Five-year-olds don't go to daycare. Do they? Who cares, dude? Carson Wentz is having a year, and even though it looked like Carson was bad... There's, you can't just tell me that Jalen Hurts is that much better than Carson without really having much prep as the starter and it just not being something to do with the scheme. It's got to be something to do with the scheme. We've seen in the past where guys are super fast. I'm not saying, you know, Jalen's super fast. What a hit. I'm not saying Jalen's like super fast, but guys that are on the faster side of being able to perform better than their normal uh, quarterback counterpart. You know, Taysom Hill at times. What's his name? Heineke, I believe. Who's the other guy? Who is the other? There's another one. I mean, there's there's guys that, like, it just happens. Because they can improvise more. And is that a hit by Neil? So big hits on that side, but also big gaps on that side. So far, 28 yards in the first two throws alone. And is anyone else's eyes going bad? I feel like I'm going blind here with this, this brightness. And is Kelsey? Oh, look at Allen! Forcing him out, and he can't throw it away, and that's a sack. Jonathan Allen, I believe, having a pretty decent season. And we're just going to ignore the fact that the tops are 100% a different color than the bottoms. But from here, hey, it looks pretty good. <laughs> just forget anything was said. And, okay, one, it's, it's one thing to run on second and ten, right? You know, everyone hates the, the run call on second and ten. I kind of agree. Probably not a good a call, but you can get away with it. But come on, second and 19 and you're going to go for it on a run? That is just why. You just want to be off the field, don't you? Look what would have happened if they would have thrown it. They would have had a chance. They need like seven or eight here. I don't know. Touchdown to pick ratio and almost a 1,000 yards more than when. So, of course, a lot more picks, a few more touchdowns, but a lot more yards. Of course, we also don't know his rushing numbers. He's got to have at least a decent bit. I would imagine at least 300 yards rushing and a couple of touchdowns, which obviously value pretty high overall when you're voting MVP. Inside Hubbard, big part of last week's game, and how the hell did they catch him? Who the hell is that? And that puts him over a 1,000 yards rushing on the season. What a year. Definitely, definitely on par to become an X-Factor, which is amazing stuff. And speaking of the man, Hubbard to the outside, slips it for a gain of about 12. Adding those two together pretty much gives him 20. And now 4,000 proper for our quarterback. Hey, we're getting, you know, milestones left and right. Ross, are you close? <laughs> Who's close to another uh, a milestone? You're getting the ball. That is a perfect read. Unfortunately, under pressure could be the cause of a very, very troublesome Fletcher Cax to the outside and wh who is that guy he looks way too happy of course third and 14 after a failed screen pass I just have to just chuck this out 
And Hubbard, are you on some crack? Don't get me wrong, the throw was not great, but the fact that that was intercepted makes me want to cry out of my ween. Like, that is just pain. How is that intercepted? To the outside, really good job. Good job, Neil. Was that Ruben Foster? He did almost the same thing number 50 did on their team, but, you know, he actually missed it, which sucks. As we get closer and closer to this MVP finale, you know, Campbell just keeps selling. Like, he just keeps missing the throws. I know we're on the run, right? I know we're on the run, but that's an easy throw. That's literally a sellout throw where you just try to get maybe five or six, get closer for a punt or whatever it was. I don't know exactly the yard line. Play a little out of range for a field goal. They've got a couple of guys, and he's hit and taken down by the guy we never bring up, Montez Sweat. This will be a punt. I feel like we never bring him up. I know if we have a coverage play where one of the guys, nah, I would say even then, Chase Young's in coverage more, so I don't know. He's just had a quiet season, to my knowledge. When, you know, I, I look at those numbers, and oh, oh he's had uh, 10 sacks. Okay, never mind. Catch this. I don't know why I'm saying catch this. It, Ross has not been the issue at all. Campbell missing throws, that's been the issue. Really, really good stuff there. Did he lose return man or something? I forgot to put it on, or is, did he miss the threshold? What is it? And we're going to hand it off to Hubbard. We kind of hesitated. These, you, I'm like almost half tempted to restart. I really am. These, uh, these tops, I did not realize were that different. I really didn't. It's almost a crime. Not quite, but almost. And wow. I'm not saying that makes up for the uh, the interception throw, but that is, it's close. That was a really good throw under pressure with a guy on his face. Oh, they got me. And I would say cool one in the pocket, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I hit right bumper twice, and there was no right bumper option, and I almost just took the sack. But then I realized why is wide open there. Oh, that's a really good play. We're not getting that much room on the ground today. Carter getting the handoff, and he's got speed, and he gets the corner for the touchdown. There you go. Ugly top-bottom combo and all. First career rushing touchdown. Not that it's saying much because, you know, like it literally is his rookie year. Get in there. Look at Allen. <laughs> Allen just slapped him with his hip and knocked him over. Got some Kim K legs on him. Yeah, I, you know. There's things I want to, ooh, I missed so hard. Is that Alshon? It is. You can tell it's Alshon by the fact that he had all the blocks in the world and still managed to only gain five yards. Actually, it might have, no, it was like it left four to five because I think even on that bump, the running back gained like a yard probably. To the outside, underneath. He's got all the time in the world and hit as he's thrown. I thought that was a fumble. Barmore gets him. Of course, not an actual sack, but defense playing pretty well. The coverage alone doing really well. Booty fart. Go with the double streak on the outside. I don't like it. Campbell, you hit this edge. Damn it, how? How in the world? Who is that? Is that Fletcher? I don't know who that is, but they need to uh, drug test that man. He just caught up to, like, what, 86 speed now, Campbell? Scams. Oh, do we do it? Get this. Nice. Ross makes it look too easy. Ross, I mean, he's bigger than him, but I'm getting, I'm getting like, Devontae Adams slash, like, Brandon. I'm getting Brandon Marshall vibes. Maybe even better when it's all said and done, though. Look at that. I mean, just good running. I'm only like halfway through Carter, and that is a really good catch, but that is what the bottom of the screen would like to call inaccurate. Inside Hubbard. Okay, here's the thing. I can admit again when something different happens than what happened in my brain. I juke to the right, he went to the left, and the rest is history. <laughs> that is strange. Let's go to the play action play. This play does work for us a lot, but sometimes we miss the throw. This play's good. If you hit the throw, and he does, and Carter is one yard. Oh, I feel so bad. The man had a rushing touchdown. I guess if he had a rushing touchdown, he didn't really deserve. So at the end of the day, Hubbard stealing it potentially isn't, it's not a crime. Hubbard. Oh, damn. Let's go with the pitch to the outside now, Hubbard. I'm, not, I'm trying, not trying to get him rushing touchdown. I just think 
is our best bet to score is just to run. Oh, Hubbard. Hubbard, no, he's going to be down to the three. I guess it's not. Unless you go with a red option. We could wait for Kelly. If it looks like there's a chance, we'll go, but Ross could be our look. Oh, Kelly, you filthy individual. I literally was just about to toss it up there, and Kelly just, he just took it. He didn't even have to go for the jump ball. To the outside, and Hood with a pop. I, I guess it would have been second and one. Would have been a good time for them to go for a shot play, so give them the first. Does anyone else watch football like that? I think I've just played too much Madden over the years. I just, I, anytime I watch football, I'm like, eh, it's not the... Ooh, I thought maybe they'd call a little P.I. Rager getting on the field quite fast on that one. But yeah, when it's like second and, uh, it's going to be like a second and one, I'm like, ah, just give him the first, you know? Ooh, Chase Young. That was filthy. You know, Chase should be the guy that wins the, m actually, no, he shouldn't. They still have Lane. I don't know what I'm thinking. It should be Jonathan Allen. Allen or Sweat. Over the middle, and he gets him. Neal does pop him, but that is a massive gain. And a new fresh set of downs. That's the biggest part of it. Really impressive. Oh, no. We sold. Oh, no. Everyone else is selling. Miles Sanders, who only has two rushing touchdowns on the season, almost made it three. And he still could. To the outside. Oh, this is, this is bad for them. Yeah, Fuller had the outside. I took the underneath with our Sega Whiteside, who really should not still be on their team. But, hey. Makes it easier of a competition for us that they don't go for wide receiver talent. Allen running a guy over and causes enough pressure for the field goal. Over the middle. No, he sits down, and that's a good route as the guy we just talked about, our Sega Whiteside, gets the receiving touchdown, making it a seven-point game. Good stuff. Unless he's a really good player. Even if it is a really good player, Cordero. I'm going to go on a limb and say he's definitely got return man or evasive. One of the two. Maybe. Hubbard. Oh, they left him. Oh, my Lord. I need to be left with an insane asylum manager because I do not know why we were running there. Hubbard was just left. I don't know what the hell that was. I think the underneath route scared the guy for whatever reason. And I can't tell if that's a really big corner or safety on Carter or if Carter's just really small. I think it's a combo of the both, so I'm not going to throw it there. And I believe it was a safety. That's a guy that just took us down. I don't know, Shelton, maybe his name was? A Carter could be our look for the touchdown. Make up for that one earlier. No, it's not. They're going to be... Screw, we're going to take this. Oh, my Lord. There's no way that right foot was down, was it? That is insane if he caught that. There's no way he just caught that. And that was a beautiful high point. There's no way. He did? I mean, that's like Santonio Hall... Look at this foot! Sounds like, uh, I'm, what's his name, Quentin Tarantino, because he's got a fetish of the feet. That is ridiculous. But the thing is, Antonio did it in the Super Bowl, so I ain't going, you know, other than clickbait, I ain't going to actually try to, try to make an argument for it. Oh, Carson. You already have Jalen Hurts on your tail. You really want to give him the job by default with an injury? You want to Nick Foles this thing for the 14th time? I really don't think you should. Allen. Allen. Hood! I will say, Hood, as a superstar, got a lot closer on that than he normally would. Normally when he gets burned on those those curls or the sit-down routes, usually a bit further away than that. Chase Young is having his way with uh, Lane Johnson at the moment. We'll get to him in a second. Ooh, Sweat is Darby. He's not Darby. He's literally not. Uh, well, he kind of is because they both consistently sell on a daily basis, but... The outside. I knew it. Fulton just got burned for a touchdown. I'm glad when you dive at someone's ankles, you get very close to it, and you don't actually try to tackle them. Yo, how is that throw so good? As far as where the ball needed to be for a chance to catch it, you really could not ask for better than that. Just was a play that was kind of dead from uh, impact. Hubbard, we could take a shot to Kelly. Oh, my. That's just a good play by him. No, 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 no. He is short. Yikes. I had Y open or B open, but that's taunting. But I threw it over there, and 
they were chasing it, and all of a sudden he just turns in and intercepts the ball. We had him open underneath, but because the routes were kind of intersecting, they were able to, to cut it off. And I, I can't lie, Titus and the lineman may have saved a touchdown. Well, I mean, they did, but we'll see. We'll see in the end. Green, you want to get up there? I know Alshon's not very good. Oh, hell no. Luke, you got to help. Nice. That is teamwork. Let's move him over just in case. And it means nothing. Damn. Tied up. Ross on the comeback. Got the tight end for a lot of yards, and he's tanking forward. Catch it and move. Oh, Ross can't get there. Damn. Tried so hard to get to the right side. And they killed him with these on. I should have threw to Hubbard there. I just didn't trust that Hubbard wouldn't have, like, cut too far in and, you know, he would have been stuck inside. Ooh, off his tips. What? I mean, we're, we're tied up. I know we kind of choked this away a little bit, but we want to get some sort of points. I think that's just a throwaway. Play it safe. Get your field goal. Oh, there goes Fulton. That's why you play it safe. And he's going to celebrate it in the end zone for the 10-point lead. Finally, a little bit off of Fulton. I believe he has another pick six earlier in the season, actually. His other pick, I believe, might have been for six. Okay, so we sold a little bit. We recovered some of our products. And now we are up 10 at halftime. Looking at the yards, we have a lot more than them. But they are still close. I think we get the ball here, though. Why is he moving? Good catch. I didn't want to risk anything else. Under pressure. That's interesting. It's like he's under pressure. We can't tell if it was accurate or inaccurate. We're just going to tell you that it was under pressure. Oh, thanks. I I couldn't tell. <laughs> we were running for our lives. But thanks for letting me know we were under pressure. This could be a Sims TD. It's something for Sims. That is a dime. And it is. He gets the score. I am surprised. Not only did he catch that. But he slips away. Sims, who really doesn't get stats often, finally pulling up there. What is his shoes? Vapor? Turn them into dust, that vapor. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, he tries to get a swat, doesn't. And then he gets a tackle attempt, which is really strange. But nice. Get out there. Ooh, they've got some room to run. Not that great of a block off the edge. Good job by Hood, but it's the first down. First down. They have a screen. Allen, no. Oh, my. Hood just took one to the knee. Hood just died. He gave you a compliment, and you like him? Shocker. Oh, come on, Miles. Oh, no. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for switching me to Neil so that I just look like an idiot that has no vision. That's a really strange statement. To the left side, and he's not going to get the look because Jonathan Allen in his face again. Third and 22. We're going to jump this. Oh, I thought we had it. Throws a running back. No one cares. Oh, shocker. You throw it to the right. You check it down to the guy that has zero chance to get you a first down or a touchdown. Nice. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, dude. That just sucks. And we get stopped short of two yards. Nice. I guess we're just going to take it short here. Oh, come on. Nobody is open. I, I mean, I have car. I did run very far away. That is bad. Why not, right? Why not? Damn, good D. Who was that? That was really good coverage on Ross. Come on. Huge hit. Oh, we just got bumped. Like, he passed and interfered me, basically. I was just trying to run with him, and he kind of just, like, pushed me out of the way. Troy Apke, I mean, how much time do you want us to cover for? No way that's valid. Was he not over the line? This pass rush is just so inconsistent. 
Please, for the love of jeez. Oh, that's pass interference. Touchdown, Eagles. I think we got stopped dead. How? I mean, it's was he clearly in, right? I mean, he was he was so in that he was in the actual ground. He, like he tried to plant himself. All right, this worked for Carter earlier. This is now Sims's chance. What can he do with it? He's gonna outrun him, is what he's gonna do. Shona, he's like, hey, hey, Carter is not the only guy. Oh, that's a close call, and Carter gets in. I believe he rolls over for the first. Uh, I don't feel like Kelly's going to get open here. QB draw. I feel like we haven't done anything like this. Thank you, Campbell, because once again, Sheriff is just... Uh, Sheriff just doesn't do what he's supposed to. He's a Sheriff, damn it. Oh, that's a terrible throw. I'm not going to say that Ross ran that, you know, so filthy like that he just missed a touchdown or something, but... It probably would have been caught for a first. Can't hit the curl. Why is... I mean, we'll take the completion. But, like, why is he stopping there? And why are we, like, moving as well? I think this man can hit this. This is a risk that I'm willing to take. Oh, I might have missed it. Is that in? Oh, it was the accuracy. Not today. Oh... That was almost perfect timing. Almost had the pick underneath, and then you had Chase almost sacking him. We're actually potentially going to lose this. We're just selling. We're just not doing well. Man, the pass rush isn't going to get there this time. Chase! Oh, no! Left foot! Apke, you hero! How in the world is he able to get that? Inside Hubbardo. Trying to cut it right. Can not. Nice play. Oh, there's no one there. Nice little move. I don't think the Steelers ones are that bad. Okay. Where's going to run? I don't trust that throw. Once again, this mof with number 70-something. Saving the day, as always. I'm not going to say they're bad, but they're not good. Oh, my. Yo. Yo. Is this man on crack? We can lose this game because of him just... I mean, if we can't hit this field goal, that's that's bad coaching because that was literally the perfect one. Okay, there you go. I don't understand how the wind going behind us is good where the other one's kind of helping us a little bit. We don't make it. I don't know. Great kick, obviously, but how in the world is the most likely MVP of the league missing a throw like that? Every single person in this chat, every single one of you, can make that throw. And there's one of you that probably has no arms or legs. You're still somehow getting the ball there. That is how bad of a throw that was. Oh, look at the coverage by Luke. Oh, look at the coverage by Fulton. Not much you can ask for there. Oh, nice up the middle. Nice sack. I love seeing it. Deron Payne. Even on this team anymore? What the hell? Did he fly in just that play just to show up? Because I haven't heard much from him this season. Two breeze can't. Three breeze can't. That's a pretty short throw. Oh my. This. Hey, that's what happened to us. But he actually made the throw. And why would you? The fact that he's still breathing is honestly a modern miracle. Get in there. Nice. Ooh, fourth and inches. I know a lot about inches. We got to get in here. Yeah, we should have committed. I mean, there was no guarantee. Nah, nah, we made the right call. At the end of the day, you just, you play that to not give up a touchdown. Allen. Oh, he's dead. Chase. What is this throw? Huge hit by Neal. I thought that was going to be a forced fumble. And that's a loss of yards. No, he didn't catch it. Oh. Chase, I thought that was going to be a fumble. With four minutes left, we are up seven. Carter to the outside. Nice play. I thought he was going to around that edge. Carter is fast, but EA is not. <laughs> Simply put, their, uh, their agility went on this gen is very strange, and I'm not a fan of it. Oliver on the out. Could go to the running back. Oh, we had... 
B. Wow, he misses the throw. We had B quite open there. I just didn't really look to go deep there. I just kind of wanted to get the first down, play it safe, but I guess that was the safest play. Tight end. Carter, I don't know. And he gets it. Clutch. Carter. I could have maybe taken that. That was a really good throw. That was, that's solid. Like they should not be ready. And they somehow are. Hey, made, a, made the throw to Kelly. Why are we, like, throwing it so far? We're not throwing it far at all, but... Don't be grounding, and it's not. Did that guy just say, I'm coming? I'm coming? Hey, I ain't gonna judge you on what you do. Even if it's on the field while we're playing currently. Oh, there goes Campbell! And we just don't care. Like, he, just, he doesn't fumble. He just, who cares? Hopper to the right. They will get a chance at the ball, but will it be with us scoring? You know, obviously we need to score to close the game. Oh, you idiot. Who was that left tackle? Why? Are you actually kidding me? Can I not pause? I didn't do that on purpose, okay? I didn't, I... Hmm. We just need to get a pick six. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I did not do that on purpose to try and to, to dip the prediction or to make the, you know, the game closer, you know, give them a chance. I legitimately missed it. All mountains, like, it's, it's unpredictable, especially with low accuracy. Yo, are you joking me? What is this? Where am I? Does he hold on? Oh no! You want to throw? We're gonna get this. One play left. If they fumble, we could take this back. Oh my. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> well, it was unlucky. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's kind of nice. It's, you know, a little bit different from actually the NFL itself and, you know, showing us the sky. Why not? Why not show us a little a little bit of fun, right? <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. I mean, we've missed a lot of field goals like that in extra points, but I really, I tried so hard to get that field goal and then I choked it. Like, I was trying so much to score. Like, I just, I was trying so much to score. It's interesting. Uh, Titus Campbell, 5 for 35. Hubbard, 16 for 57. Carter, one touchdown. Rushing. Probably should have tried that more. Sims actually had a pretty good amount of success as well. Reggie Carter with 6 for 95. I don't, did he have the most yards? He didn't. Ross had the most yards. So, don't know what the season ratings are looking like, but these receivers got to be getting close to that 1,000 yard mark, other than Ross, obviously. He already has it. Because, I mean, we have over 4,000 yards passing on the season. Somebody's got to be catching it. We actually had a lot of sacks this game. Of course, there's a lot of times where Wentz had a clean pocket. Usually the sack. That is most likely going to be the last video for today, assuming the video came out earlier today. And I know I said I was going to stream yesterday. I said I was going to stream Saturday, and I didn't. So pretty likely we'll be streaming tonight. I messed up my sleep schedule again, but we're going to just have to grind it out. Anyways, on twitch.tv slash care. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter at JeromePCare, or the second channel, Pierre Plays. Well, maybe not or, but maybe both. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 